guys, this is Isabella Illustrations here and welcome to a new video. So today's video is going to be a review of the Star Wars series, The Acolyte. Now, the last episode just aired yesterday and I need somewhere to outlet my thoughts. So I thought I would do a video about it and me just rambling about things I want to ramble about. So without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, so we turned on the red light for Dark Side Effect. Um, even though it's, I wouldn't say dark side, but still like on the darker a little bit, not completely. Anyway, let's first talk about the plot. There will be spoilers, so go away if you don't want them. Um, but basically the plot of the show was pretty simple. Like the trailers didn't interest me at all of, for the story. It, like in my opinion, when the trailer usually is not great, usually the show is better. Which, in my opinion, this was definitely the case because the plot of the show is so much more elaborate than the trailer will have you think. It's a lot more than just some assassin killing Jedi. There's so much more. There's a sister story in here. Um, there's a father-daughter kind of relationship between Master Soul and Osha, which is one of the sisters who she used to be his Padawan, basically. And... I love these relationships. These relationships, even between the sisters, May and Osha, really brought the story, like, made the story amazing. The characters did the best pulling of this show. But, yeah, the plot, it was, like, more than just a murder mystery kind of thing. It, there was, like, conspiracies. It, it's just out of this world. We even get, like, a bit of a corruption arc for the main character Osha, which I really enjoyed and I did not expect in this show and I actually really love that. Um, yeah, so basically Osha and Sol are hunting down her sister Mei because she's the one who's killing Jedi, but then we see that there's a lot more behind this. There's a conspiracy that the Jedi have kept hidden and, and Sol from Osha and Basically, it's like, who a big thing. And then there's this new dark siders introduced called the Stranger. He also goes by Chimera in the show. And he was a very interesting character. And the whole story with him, too. Top tier. So I think that's all I have to say about the plot. Um, the characters next. Which, uh, the characters make or break the show for me. And I loved, mo like, some of these characters so much that I just loved the show. And Soul, I think, is my favorite Jedi in this. Um, I love the actor's performance, but the character himself... It's so sad how they did him dirty with him dying, like, in the end. I mean, I understand why. Um, he did do something shitty. He killed Osha and May's mother. But the circumstances, re like, regardless of the circumstances, he still did kill their mother, and he lied to Osha about it for so many years. But you also understand where he's coming from, because he just wanted to protect Osha, because otherwise she would have been sent away. The Jedi Order wouldn't have allowed her to train, because she was too old. So, I kind of understand him trying to do good, and it breaks my heart <laughs> that... The Jedi, in the end, basically blame everything that happens, all the murders, on him. And he gets his name completely destroyed. And I'm angry about this. But anyway, um, before I go on a ramble rant about this, um, yeah. He was done dirty. Soul was done dirty. And I am very sad about that. Especially since he was killed by Osha when she found out the truth that basically he had lied to her and told her that her sister had killed everybody and including their mother. Like, once she found out that he did it, she went full-blown dark side, forced choke, killed him. And I understand she was really angry. And, yeah, someone you trust, in, like, completely... You find out that they've been keeping a big secret like this from you for your whole the whole time you guys have known each other. Yeah, I'd be angry too. 
seems kind of like a Loki kind of response. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the end of Soul. Um, Osha and May. Now, I loved Osha more than May, and I think that's what they wanted. They made Osha more the focused sister in this, and May was also in it. Like, she wasn't completely, like, missed out on, but Osha definitely felt like the main character, and I really liked her. Um, she's a nice person. She, she just wants to do the right thing. And she's trying, she's tried to get over all of this grief and anger at her sister. And when you realize that it's, it's, that Soul's the one who's like lied to her about her sister being the one to cause all that carnage. It's just like, you're like, poor thing, man. You wouldn't have to go through all this anger at your sister if you, if he just told you the truth. And it's like, she's carrying all these emotions with her that she just can't let go of. But it's like, It's just, like, it's hard. Um, but yeah, her whole arc from beginning of the show, loving Soul as if he was, like, a father figure to her, and then to the end of the show when she finds out the truth, and that ends up sending her down a darker path. I like that. I like a corruption arc for a protagonist. We don't get this enough in media, and I consume it. I loved seeing her go dark. I actually had a theory that she would, so I was very happy about that. <laughs> Plus, she joins the the villain of the series, kind of. Um, Chimere, the stranger, who I mentioned before. And I dig that. Um, I will mention that a little later on. But May was, like, the stranger's apprentice for the show. Um, when she was killing Jedi, it was, like, kind of like a... Sith rite of passage kind of thing, even though he doesn't identify as Sith exactly. It's more of a doing his own thing, because he doesn't like how the Jedi really, like, tell people how to, like, use the Force when there's no, like, one way to use it. They shouldn't have a monopoly on how people use the Force, but they just do, and he doesn't believe in that, and I kind of agree with him. Um, but yeah, May was his a apprentice first and I like that we go to Osha becoming that later I think that's a really cool turn of events um but yeah May is supposed to kill like all these Jedi who are on Brendok and the reason that her sister got taken and her whole family died so she wanted to get revenge on these Jedi but also her master was sending her on a mission to basically kill a Jedi without a weapon which they don't- Jedi don't attack people who are unarmed. So that's, like, like, really big deal. A really big deal, apparently. And she never quite does it. But her sister and Osha ends up doing it. And it's, like... Like, I didn't see anyone else online have this theory. Maybe they did, but I had the theory. And I was like, how cool would it be? Like, how poetic would it be if Osha, like, not thinking about it actually finishes May's mission and it happened and that was whack um but yeah um May in the end ends up the one with basically no memories and basically now she's being lied to for like by the Jedi and so now it's kind of like a role reversal for the sisters uh, if there's a second season, basically, um, May's the one who's gonna be lied to, and Osha's the one who's gonna know the truth, instead of it being the other way around, which I kind of dig it. Um, lots of parallels, and as George Lucas says, it's poetry, it rhymes, and I love it! It's so good! Um, anyway. Next, I guess we'll talk about Chimere slash The Stranger. Now... I didn't really care for him at the beginning of the show. But then I saw the reveal that he was the other guy that we were seeing. He was playing, like, double. Like, he was, at one point, like, this master. And then he was also pretending to be this, like, f friend or slash, like, person who was helping out May to complete her mission. And that reveal that it was him, 
Um, we pretty much, I pretty much guessed it was him. I think we all did. But when I actually saw it, I was like, wow, dude, you went from kind of funny, weird dude to hot all of a sudden. Like, everybody is simping over this guy. Like, all us women, apparently. Apparently, it's all the women's fault. Anyway. I like this character. He got some backstory, which was great. Um, his former master, he feels betrayed by her. And we find out that that's this other character named Venestra. And that's why he ended up turning away from the Jedi. Um, and going down his own path. Um, but Venestra is my least favorite character. Like, she pissed me off so much. The way she besmirched Soul's name at the end of the series, and I just don't like her. I've heard she's better in the books, but I've never read those, and right now I'm just freaking pissed at her. Cause, um, she's just covering up and lying about everything to the Senate, and it's like, you're doing this to cover your own ass, because if anyone finds out that your apprentice, your old apprentice, like, went rogue, then things are gonna be worse for the Jedi. And it's like, sorry, um, Sol at least tried to hide the truth for uh, mostly Osha. It's like, he wanted her to be, he wanted her to be okay. And you're just doing this to save your own ass. So I don't like you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very emotional about this. Um, but yeah, there were other characters like Jeki and Yord. Um, Yord was okay. Didn't really get attached to him that much. Um, but the way he died was brutal, so it kind of got me a bit. But I wasn't sad about it. Um, Jackie I actually liked more. Um, she and Osha had a little vibe going on, but... Yeah, she ended up dead, so... Yeah, um... Had some feelings about it, but didn't cry. Um, with Soul, I pretty much was sad. <laughs> really sad. <laughs> really upset. Um... Close to crying. But yeah, I think that's enough about characters. Um, I want to talk about next um, how... Um, basically, when the show started out... It took me a bit of time to get into it. Like, I was like, where the heck is this show going at the beginning? I really didn't know what to expect. But once I understood where everything was going... It was so good. And... I just can't stop thinking about it now, day and night, and that's why I need to make this video. Like, I haven't had something consume me this much since, like, Tangled series, Shadow and Bone. Shows like that. And I'm, like, very emotional right now. And... I won't lie, there are issues with the show. It's not perfect. No show is perfect. But I still really had a blast with it. And I think that you either like it or you don't. It's like, there's not really an in-between for people I've seen. So, um, yeah. Take with that what you will. Um, but yeah, I recommend it. Give it a chance. Um, it really gets going. And it once it does, oh my god couldn't stop watching i was desperately waiting for every week and i was so excited um something i liked in the show was how there is jedi criticism in the show and i agree i've had some criticisms about the jedi for some time and they're not always expressed in the best way but i like that in this show through chimera slash the stranger we get to see those certain aspects of the jedi like these not feeling negative emotions like negative emotions are part of beings like human beings any beings in the galaxy like suppressing those kinds of emotions is not healthy there is a healthy like amount of anger there's a healthy amount of fear there's just because you experience those doesn't mean you're on the dark side it's like the Jedi and their rules about those kinds of emotions, it's kind of like a bit stupid. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, if I suppressed all of those ugly emotions, then sooner or later I would burst. And that's 
what they're kind of showing through Osha and Chimir and how they were both Jedi at one point, kind of. And, well, Osha was almost a Jedi, but Chimir was actually a Jedi. And they both go down the darker path. And I think that that is all because of this, like, all of a, like, because of these suppressions of emotions, not being able to let yourself feel and all these strict rules it's like the jedi are a bit too strict and i agree it's like they have a monopoly on how the force is being used and like if you use it any other way you're considered a dark sider which is like ridiculous it's ridiculous i mean it's like we see leia use the force in the last jedi and she's not a jedi and it's okay. Like, she's using it. Big whoop. She's not following any Jedi rules. She's not a Jedi. And it's like... The Jedi need to be a little less, um... Thinking they control how people control the Force in the galaxy. It's it's a bit much. And I like that we got those criticisms and things. Because it really needed to be said. And I really agreed with the show on that. So, I like that aspect. Um... Next, um, yeah. Well, I think I already covered the Jedi conspiracies with Soul lying to May. I mean, Osha, about what happened on Brendock and how it was her sister who killed everybody because of the fire. Um, but really, it was him who killed her mother. And yes, her sister started a fire, but it wasn't her who killed all those, like, witches in the coven that they were from. It was all the Jedi's fault. And him covering that up, like, he didn't just lie to Osha, he lied to the council, he lied to everybody. And then, now Venestra's doing, shitting on Soul's name, saying he killed all these Jedi that have been, that were killed by May's, May, basically. And now his name has been put through the dirt. So Finestra can hide the fact that her old Padawan has gone rogue, gone evil-ish, and I'm mad at that. Um, next, I'd like to rant about my new favorite Star Wars ship, because after Raylo, I think I needed this. And I did not know we were going to get this, and I'm actually so happy. Again, enemies to lovers, my favorite kind of trope. And we get, like... Osha and Chimere, we get, like, vibes. Like, vibes. Like, electricity. There's so much chemistry there, it's palpable. And so many, so many women in the fandom are, like, latching onto this. And I gotta agree. The actor who plays him, very attractive. Um, definitely, definitely in this role, too. Um, the whole episode six, where him and Osha are on the planet together... Oh my god. My favorite episode of the season. Oh my god. It's all this like back and forth banter. And it's so much fun. And then in episode 8, the finale, they're kind of like still enemies. And they're not going to lovers yet. But there is definitely something going on between them. And I'm like, it'll definitely get there, I think. Um, I totally ship it. I cannot get these two off my mind right now. Um, I love that... A girl finally goes to the dark side and kind of joins the hot bad guy. I kind of like this. I'm happy. We didn't get this with Raylo, and I'm kind of digging this. Um, so happy they went this route. Some people are not. I get it. But I'm loving it, and I need a season two. Um, now that she, Osha, is basically, like, made a deal with the stranger like Chimir about how you let my sister go and I will train with you oh my god I need to see this training happen I need to see this partnership relationship what have you I need to see these two I need more of them together training doing all the fun stuff and I need May and Osha reunited in season two.
because these poor sisters have been separated for so long and they get separated again because may like gets her memory wiped so basically she can't be used to track down osha and the stranger slash crimea and it made me cry the sisters separating again i just need to know what happens um yeah, it made me really emotional. I still am. Um, overall, I enjoyed this show. Um, if you guys have seen it, please let me know what you thought about it. Um, I know this is a long video, but I really had to get my thoughts out. Because this show just... I needed to talk about it. But yeah. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>